here. But let's stay with the border for a second. Let's stay with the border for a second. We spoke about Trump earlier, his new social media platform. But he also sent out a message this weekend slamming the Biden administration for their disastrous border policy. And specifically, he said, quote, we proudly handed the Biden administration the most secure border in history. Big statement. You can back it up and you can't back it up all at the same time. But certainly more progress was made. The, the, the wall is damn near finished in, in, in the parts that they were working on. But he continued on, quote, all they had to do was keep this smooth running system on autopilot. Instead, in the span of just a few weeks, the Biden administration has turned a national triumph into a national disaster. They are way in over their heads and taking on water fast. And again, he's, he's, look, he's right. Like President Trump or not, progress was made down there. But the bigger issue is having some forethought, testing some stuff out. This worked, this didn't work. If you do this, this will happen. What if we do this? What, what are the possible ramifications? It's almost as if this Biden administration has not thought about any of their policies and actions and what could come of it. Take example, for example, what we're seeing now, where people are being welcomed in and then there's no facilities for them. But they don't want to send them back because they've said, no, 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 come here, we'll take care of you. So then you put them in these inhumane conditions. You put them in these awful situations, no forethought whatsoever. And again, if nothing else, rather than try to pander and rush into changing everything up for the sake of optics, which they did in 50 plus things, Lord knows what the number is now, but it was 50 plus executive actions weeks weeks ago, almost all of it for optics, to please their own base, to try and make Trump look bad, which does the exact opposite in cases like this, where you're like, Okay, you made a big change, and now it's awful. Now now it is a crisis. It was a crisis coming down from a crisis before. Now it's like peaked way past where it was. That's crazy. Trump continued on. He even called out the Homeland Security Director, Mayorkas, saying even someone of Mayorkas' limited abilities, (laughs) I love the, the hit there, should understand that if you provide catch and release to the world's illegal aliens, then the world will come. The only way to end the Biden border crisis is for them to admit their total failure and adopt the profoundly effective proven Trump policies. And look, Trump's bombastic in that. He, he says things like that. He's dogmatic. He, he makes statements like that, that that maybe not everyone would say. You know, lots of I did this, I did that. That's not how I like to rule. That's what we like about him, though. He just says what he thinks, comes right off. But he's right. And as I said earlier, talking about this issue, they're quietly doing that. They got rid of the remain in Mexico policy, but now they're talking about doing something similar. They're just going to call it something different, but they're basically adopting lots of his policies now that this thing has gone so horribly and they're taking on water, as President Trump said, that they're going to come up with plans and basically use a lot of their plans, just call it something different and give themselves credit for fixing it. Even though, again, I love that I just looked in at a comment. I used to free ball. Just got to watch the zippers. For those of you listening on the podcast, not watching the chat that's streaming down my screen here, you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. We are talking about the border, but we're also now talking about Bravo Tango Shepherd's junk. So that's just what happens on a Monday on Drew Berkowitz Live. But we're-